six by six. Mate, cooking with gas. And this is HG's what? Well. You're right there, Steve. You want a hand? I'm pretty. Uh, look at that. See, that's better. I like the uh, the color combo. Look how cool that looks. So that's the other color that it comes in as well. The uh, HG models. But look at that. Mate, that's some serious uh, looking. Uh, that's some serious bit of coin you got here as mate, well. Mate, <laughs> you talked about my collection. Oh yeah, true. Look at this guy's. Okay, here's the manual. Not going to do a full step by step uh, build build video. There's already some on the internet. Um, just go watch them if you're really into those because it's got time lapse and all that kind of stuff. I don't really do those, but let's just go through this. Nice manual, by the way. Really easy to follow. It gives you uh, step by step instructions. Uh, gives you a nice little tool list here. And like I said in the first video, you need three AA batteries to power this all on. But this kit is really nicely set out. I've just put everything out on the table and I'm actually inside because it's pretty, pretty cold. It's winter here in Australia at the moment. But like I mentioned, these are all nicely set out. And as you can see, all the screws are there and all the hardware you need, even ball bearings, are there. Really nicely labelled, so it's really pretty difficult to lose track of where you are. So, first step here, um, it actually says to put something together, sorry about that, but it's actually pre, pre built. This guy just here. And this is the mechanism that raises and lowers the rear of the, uh, the actual the ramps at the back of the uh, trailer. But look at this, it's even got ball bearings on the ends here. So you can just see really nice quality. So that's step one to four. Step five to six are actually assembling these rear tail lamps and just check out these little LEDs. Now it's got a white um, or yellow and red LED and just basically gives you the indication of what you need. Now, like I said, I'm not doing a full build, but the flashing and stuff on these are pretty much comparable to any other kit that I've put together, like Tamiya or any plastic kit. Not much flashing at all, a little bit of cleanup here and there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put these tail lamps together Get everything ready, situated, where it's supposed to go, and then I'll show you this whole rear section when it's complete. So there is the LED cluster put together, just snaps fits uh, all together, and then once it's finished, slides into the back of this plastic piece just like that, and it's hardware fixed, and basically it shines like that down beneath, and or down below, sorry, and this is... In the unboxings, it was called the poop chute. Uh, it was a really heavy metal piece. This part is plastic, one of the only parts on the kit that's plastic. This part is metal, and it just press fits in here, just like that. And once you push it all down, these bearings rest up on that little perch or cradle there on either side, and it just fix it down via four screws. Now, when it comes up until here, you'd notice that there are different uh, cables and stuff like that. Get the plugs for the motor here and also the LED wires just there. Now you've got to make sure that you pick the right one. This little code here, sorry about that, it's it's um, the shadows in the way, but that number there, 19, and also this number here, 84, you've got to make sure you represent the same one on a little bag of wires. So that's you need 184 and you need two 19s, it's just like connections. To connect everything together running to the main uh, control module so you can see you got to make sure you feed them in the right directions that's it clamp it all together and that bit's done okay just like that everything is sandwiched together nicely just double check that when you're sandwiching this plastic piece down onto the back that you don't crease the wires or crimp them or anything like that because there are two exiting on this side there's a little exit hole just there and also one just there on this side but once that's all in everything should be fine there are six screws that hold together and you're good to go I know if you're building this with me at home or uh, are willing to build it or wanting to just see these two springs just here make sure you put them on before you actually screw this plastic piece on because it's very difficult to kind of shimmy them into that little piece and uh, whilst this is on so put them on before you screw this down but that's it now next step is step 10 and 11 are all these little fancy pieces that go onto the side of the trailer I'm not going to show you them I'm going to do all those because there are heaps of them as you can see all on the side there there are the side rails and these are all little pieces like that nothing too exciting what I'll do I'm going to skip all those put all those together and get it to a stage we're, uh, we're ready to actually put both sides together. Okay guys, now I've assembled both left and right rails and they are super thick, super sturdy. You can really tell the quality when you have it in your hands. But um, you can see everything is applied on the side. There's little grab handles. Um, everything is in the kit. These are actual metal, these little handles here. So super tight and, uh, well super tough, sorry. You can definitely tie things to it if you really wanted to, like a mini 
mini strap there won't break in a hurry because it's held by two screws along the whole thing as well. So that's one half, we've got the other half obviously assembled. Now to put these two halves together you connect the bridge on one half and you connect the left and right together. That's pretty much it. Now before you do that you've got to connect this huge section in the middle, this one just here, that's the one that has a motor that raises and lowers the rear arms, the rear ramps, and that just simply slides just like that without crimping that wire, but I'm just doing doing it with my hand. So put that side on and then we can actually mate the other side together. Now there are heaps of screws holding this together. Now on the side, for example, there is three, sorry about the shadow, three, six, nine, you know, 12 just there, and also four at the front, just on each side. So, mate, you've got bucket loads. It's definitely not twisted in a hurry. This definitely can. I can see why it can hold 40 kilos. But uh, I'll get these all together, and then we're up to the tires, because once we put all these pieces together, it's actually the bed of the trailer is all done. Then we can move on to the tires. Okay, as you can see, both left and right sides are put together now this is uh, upside down, but as you can see, it is ready to go pretty much. That top deck is done. Um, one thing I'm going to say, and I'll probably keep mentioning it, the fit and finish of this kit, the quality is fantastic. No issues whatsoever. Everything lines up. All the screws and everything are here so far. No cross-threaded, nothing like that. But, uh, for example, all these uh, holes down here, considering you think, oh, wow, it's, it's two large pieces of metal, mate, it fits to the T, really happy with it. Even how like uh, these parts at the back slot in and key into this back section, um, it's it's really good. So I'm really happy about it. I've even not stripped any of these heads either. I've done that before in other kits, but on this, really good. Really happy with it. Now, moving on to step 21 and 22. Now you got all these inner and outer road wheels, and in the kit it says you need to build them as you can see here, but they, uh, they're they already pre-assembled, so that's cool. And they are like a, they are like a beadlock, it seems, but uh, they are pre-assembled and ready to go. Now, as you can see, that's step 23 as well. Now, I'm going to start doing step 25 up until 27. That's getting the main, the, the drop-down section at the front put together. Pretty simple stuff, and uh, once that's all done, we can attach it to the main part of the, of the trailer. As you can see, it's huge just looks sick. It's hard to pick up with one hand, that's what she said, but uh, looks awesome. Like I said, if you want a more in-depth build, there's a couple of videos going around where it shows like a time lapse. Just not into that kind of stuff, it just takes too much time. But uh, let's get cracking on this. We'll see how it goes. Looking forward to it. Looking really good, like I said. Quality, really nice. Okay, quickly, I know I said about the quality of the past, but check out this for example. Look at that nice fit that is. Now that's all metal. And look at the how solid this is. So this definitely isn't going. There's a pin that's running through there that kind of locks it all in. But that is solid metal, obviously. But see how nicely it fits. No wiggling, nothing. Just slot it in there. Capped it away with eight screws. Nice, definitely super strong. Now this part, um, this is the only part I think on the kit where you might need you need a little bit of glue. See, it's got those grey areas with a little uh, glue bottle. You just need to glue some of the plastic components down. Maybe just some super glue. And that's about it. Um, so you've got some little components there. Attach a spare wheel on top, and then we'll secure it to the main part of the uh, trailer. Pretty cool. Easy, really easy to follow. It's actually, actually quite enjoyable too. So I'm just taking my time with it. Whenever I get a spare minute, I just uh, lob on down and do some of the uh, some of this uh, beautiful trailer. I never thought I'd get so excited about building a trailer. Okay, all these little detail parts are attached. It says to use glue, but you don't really need to because they have these two little dowels that push into the metal and they're kind of like a snap fit. But I've just put some in there just for some reassurance. Now, I put down the main section on, sorry, the, the front to the main section here of the trailer. And this went together really well. It's held, held on by two, two screws there. Two screws, so four on each side and also two on each side as well. So it's got 4, 8, 12 screws holding this whole front section onto the main deck of the body. Now it's also keyed and fit in there like a glove. Like I said just before, the fit and finish really good. Just a little bit hard to get all together because of the weight but you've got to give it a little bit of a wiggle and here and there and it just taps in. It's really really good. So that's the main part of the actual trailer done. There's a lot of little accessories that go on it like um, 
this piece here, which just covers the sides, so you don't have that ugly looking, uh, you know, inside of the, the beam there with all the screw heads. This part actually goes onto it just like that and it caps it off. Really cool, so it hides out all the details and stuff that you don't really want to see. Well, not details, but you know what I mean. Innards of that steel beam, you've got this nice little piece here that covers it all. Pretty cool. Another piece down here as well, and uh, it's all pretty much in the instructions. Now it says to glue that small piece on just in here, so I'll do that later off camera. And then on, so we moved up to step 34. Now these are some of the wiring or for the, looks like LEDs or something like that. Different wire rods position, so it gives you all what you need. So pretty damn cool. So I'll go through that. All different LED lamps. And look at it all, it's so in depth. It's like building a plastic model kit, like a small tank or a plane or something, as you can see. Heaps of stuff. Then all these little accessories that I'll do off camera, I'll put them all on. And we'll get to the stage somewhere where it looks a little, little bit more interesting. But uh, moving on, moving on pretty quickly. See in a bit. There is all the wiring done as well, and all these little separate uh, pieces put on. That's uh, pretty finicky to do, but you know, it, it, uh, it can be done, obviously, just a little bit of patience. You have these little channels underneath in each of these where the wire runs through and up into each of these LED lights. As you can see, there's three on each side and they kind of connect. They make a loop um, which all connects to this circuit board. So it, it includes the rear tail sections that go up and down. They all kind of loop together and go into this little board just here. Now, yeah, instructions are easy to follow. As long as you keep these little uh, labels on there, you know where to go. So you've got the signal wires, you've got the ones that you know got different channels. You've got channel eight. You also got the data cable, and also the one that comes off here, the signal cable. It's a little receiver. Check how small that receiver is. Pretty damn cool. So easy to follow the instructions. It says all there what you need to do. So it's uh, pretty easy. But a very important step is when you're installing this receiver back in. It goes like this. They include a big bit of double sided tape that you need to put on top because when you put all this back in, you don't want to short circuit. So there's little soldered points, they can touch this metal here. So make sure you put that little double sided tape just stuck on top there, and that's all there is to it. That's it. So get all that done, and now we can move on to putting all these other accessories and stuff on. Let's move in there, moving forward, and uh, yeah, start putting the uh, rear suspension on. I wanted to show you these supporting legs. Now they're all metal, these all parts, and I uh, need to put together this little pin system so it kind of locks in the leg. So basically, it's got a little spring loaded. Pull this out, and you can slide this whole arm down. It's pretty damn cool. So you can slide it down into different positions. I can just get it, lift it up. It's a bit stiff. There we go. So it's a little spring system in there, and it just once it finds another hole, see it just locks it in. See how this went down. Push it back up, slide it down all the way. That's it, pretty damn easy. Um, one little tip is there's like these little pins that run through. When you get your metal parts, here's the other one I'm building now, so it's got the spring in there, just like that. Just wallow out here, because um, it's got like obviously the paint on there makes this little pin bind up. So just wind, uh, sorry, just wallow out all those holes. It makes it a little bit easier to just slide that pin in, but uh, once you Done that, you have two of these guys. Pretty cool. Okay, all in storage, you've got three pins. You've got one, two, and a long one that attaches up the top there. I'll show you in a second. You've got heaps of these little uh, three millimeter bejesu clips because you need them. Make sure you close your eyes. Safety squints engage when you put those guys because they fly off. Um, so basically pull this pin. It's pretty hard and slide it down. That's it. Pull the pin. Get the uh, distance, and there you go, and locks them in place. Now, like I said, you got one, two, and you have a long right up the top that connects the two on the, the bottom of the uh, trailer. There, moving on, we've got to do the suspension, so I've got six springs, um, and that is it. I do believe they are already done for us, so that's cool. We'll start doing the buggies, and uh, we'll see how that looks. Okay, now here is the bogey components or the rear suspension. Now there are three of these that you need to build. Now when you get the kit, the actual shocks, which are these guys here, they are pre-assembled. There are six of these. Now they're just springs, there's no oil field in there, so they're all assembled. 
It's got a little rubber dampers in there as well. All you need to do is slip the little eyelets in there, and that's basically it. But all this kit, or all these components pretty much, even the bodies of these shocks are all aluminium or metal. Now, it's really nice. Now, you can see you need three of these, and these are going to articulate and stuff like that to give you the, uh, the actual trailer its suspension. Got this really nice shaft running through that's going to attach the two wheels on either side and it's got ball bearings on either side just here and there and they just push it fit in there and they'll all be locked away in the next few steps but yep three of those guys and that's what you need to do now once you build those you need to obviously attach them to the frame itself and that is it now once you put them on obviously the springs are going to on but i will show you that when i get up to that stage but it's getting there and it's getting really hard to uh move this guy around on the table because it's so goddamn heavy but I'm enjoying every minute of it and um, I hope if you guys buy this you do too because it's, it's a pretty cool experience um, like I said I'm getting pretty excited about a trailer and I think uh, I think you guys would appreciate it too if you do build it okay all three bogies are done for the suspension buttoned down and everything looks good next step is we're going to install the wheels and tires and that'll be pretty sweet that's a pretty easy step so I'll do that in a second but what I found interesting is the kit gives you another set of springs. Now the ones that comes with it, they say anything uh, 10 kilos and under, use the stock springs. If you plan to carry anything above 10 kilos, use the uh, firmer set. So, you know, that's pretty impressive because this model can hold up to 40 kilos in weight. So that's, that's, pretty, uh, that's pretty damn heavy, but I'm probably just going to be carrying a tank here and there on one of the other HG models, so they probably weigh under 10 kilos. But pretty sweet, looking nice. Everything went together really smoothly. Um, as you can see, they are pretty firm as it is. That's pretty sweet. So you've got the axles running through each. You've got a ball bearing on either side supporting that axle. Looking really good. So I'll put those wheels and tyres on and continue um, building this beautiful, beautiful trailer. Okay, just a quick one for a button up these uh, suspension and all the wheels here. They've got the axle that runs through. Now these guys obviously lock the wheel in with the pin here. But what I noticed is they were really tight to get onto the shaft. So I just kind of just drew them out just a hair you know like a tiniest bit just to slide them on there and also when I was noticing on the manual it says the wheelbase if I can get the manual just here it says the wheelbase is 269 millimeters now when the wheels are actually on it's it's much bigger it's about it's a 285 millimeters I'm thinking have I done anything wrong and I've checked some other guys on the internet and I haven't because what the process is you put the, the shaft in the axle then you put this spacer and then these and then the little pin that locks it in just like a normal RC uh, wheel and then you get your your wheel and you just slide it on in and lock them all together and there's no other way to do it so I'm thinking hmm maybe they've changed it in their production production run and that's it obviously you've got to press press that in but that's it so anyway i've checked they're all like that uh there's no other there's no other way to do it so just a quick one if uh, any of you guys wondering why is it uh overhanging it overhangs anyway but you think oh, it looks a bit different than the uh maybe the pre-production model okay all well, the wheels are all on as you can see this nice little decorative cap that just snaps on really easy next step is the rear tailgate section so these nice pieces you'd guess it or uh, pedal aluminium you got these decorative parts that go in the uh, actual middle piece here there's not much to them pretty much that there's a few parts that make up those sections just like that uh, pretty easy getting near the end of the uh, kit actually so once you make them you slide them on with a pin and you got some more of those bejesus clips um, keep your eyes closed when you're putting those in and that little spring that we originally put on earlier it's ready to uh, attach to those as well when they go on. But I'll get those together and uh, I'll show you how it looks. I'm going to look race chair. The, the Cardi Rugs, how you doing, mate? Yeah, I know, mate. Well, <laughs> look what I've done, Luke, right? I know you haven't been here for the build of it. Yes. I've done it in the, uh, in the house every now and then, but how cool does it look? For one of those uh, tanks and stuff. Mm -hmm. Not bad. So guys, there's the trailer all complete. I know the last video I think I showed you, or well, the last clip putting the wheels and everything on and the, the back bed. Now look at this, I'll show you. So you've got an on and off switch here. You can use this uh, to control it as well. Um, I believe it's, which way? Kind of shuts off by itself. If I move it a little bit forward for you, you can watch it's got kind of limits and it stops by itself. 
So that's good scale speed, I guess you could call it. Look at that. Uh, wouldn't mind a 12 S version. Look how mad that is. And then you also can use the controller as well. Little little button here. Now I believe it's one of these. Ones. Leaf. Which one is it? There we go. So these ones here, just like that. And if you let go, it'll stop, obviously. Now, one thing I, I had have a problem with, and some other guy did as well on the net, um, I couldn't get the LEDs to work. I can only get one side to work, so that's an issue. Um, I've got to co contact them and see if they can actually fix it, send me a new board. But you know, what? I don't really care. I don't want really to use the LEDs. They're on the side here, but it would be nice for it to work. It's, it's Especially at night. That's what you're paying for, right? So. Yeah, there's, they're on the side, there's one, two, three on the side, and there's some at the back as well. The main thing I want is for that to work, which it does. Now, as you can see here is the HG Hummer. It's, it's the same scale. How mad does it look? Now, like I said before, you've got two sets of springs, 10 kilos and under, or 10 kilos and above. Now, these are the 10 kilo ones, and it's looking pretty sweet, so it's heavy. This, this, and this, man, it weighs a freaking ton. There you go. Come on, lift it. No, I'm going to uh, coming out of the gym. But protein up, bro. The next, the next step is I have. I'm waiting for the hitch. Uh, there's like a hitch, uh, like a upgrade you can buy for this one here. Haven't got it yet. I'm waiting for it to come in stock. Um, I'll leave the links for all this stuff as well in the description if you want. So I'm going to get the hitch, get rid of this um, dump bed, and also I've got the crane coming with crane. Whoa! So it's a crane that sits. So yes. I'll get rid of all this. It kind of sits here. And you can control it by the remote as well, so you can plug Get it. Get out of town. You can look great. I know. You can also uh, wire this up. Well, I should have mentioned to the uh, to the receiver, and you can use these buttons here on the controller to for the back. The back Come back. on. You can, but I wanted to save them for the crane. Mm -hmm. So I want to use all this for the crane, and it's got to turn the remote. So and you can just use a little system here. So I didn't bother using that. So. Next video, obviously you need to get that crane and that tow bar and put it up the tow bar, tow hitch. Tow hitch. Tow hitch. If you want to let me know if you want me to do a video of showing you the crane itself, I think I will. Yeah. It looks pretty damn cool. It's an awesome combination, isn't it? Oh, it just looks fantastic. Now, the, the, you can buy this kit already with the hitch already, but I did like this dump bed, dump truck style. I didn't know this was coming when I got that. So, yeah, definitely we'll be getting that because I think it looks awesome. Now it's gonna it's gonna be at least what? How long is that week right? How long do you reckon mate? Uh I reckon What do you reckon? Two point something. Two point something. If I could find my uh, here we go. I reckon when that's all so on. So over six foot I suppose. Yeah just saying that's all on. Well over. No, about 1.6 metres thereabouts. There we go. I reckon, you know, thereabouts. So, 1.6 metres, that's a bloody big model. That's from here. Looks awesome, huh? I'm actually quite interested to see this runway. Imagine how much this would be if Tamiya made something like this. Oh. They do have trailers. Mate. Like they're in plastic. Hercules models, I believe, make Tamiya trailer copies or something like that. But this is all metal. Make the Kraken MGM look like a little bloody... It would. You know, TTO one. Yeah. I think it's, you know, people say it's expensive. It does come in kit version, which I did, or pre-made, uh, pre which you can get it as well. I'll leave the link down below if you want to go check them out. But yeah, you know, it's all metal, apart from these little details on the side. Uh, these ones here, the little shovel and the pry bar. That's, they're just plastic push fit in. Apart from that, everything really went well. Look, I must admit the fit and finish is awesome. The only mm -hmm. issue I had was with, um, with the lights. That's it. You also got these cool little chains that you put on the side as well. Um, little added feature there, you know, just to spice it up a bit. But I'm really happy with it, to be honest. I think it looks awesome. I don't think um, I don't think I could fold in any way apart from the uh, LEDs were working. And no real big deal, but you still would like. Just can't it. run at night, eh? No. <laughs> yeah. Well. But yeah. So, what else is there to say? It's pretty awesome, Steve. I think it is. I think it is friggin' awesome. And these are. Uh, these go on here, look right. Got these little, you know, just yep. like that. So safety first. Safety first, make sure you put them up. So, just another add a little detail. And Luke Ray will say he needs some more camo. I think, yeah, probably camo it up a little bit more. But, yeah, so you can't see it. No, because you can see now. 
because you know. I think that CCXRC camo. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I know. Oh, I've got to say, if you like I think we you, sold it. Hope you like my new logo. You like it, Luca? It was not bad. I changed it so we can put it on hats and jumpers and shirts, and you know, if we want to sell merch, it's easier. That looks cool. I've had that logo for ages, so. So now we're going to add that to the click and subscribe yeah. and the merch. Yeah, the merch, yeah. Oh, and force it on anyway. If you want to buy it, you can buy it. But I know you're going to have to buy it. Yes, apparently. You have to. What else? Okay. Um, apart from that, oh, sorry. So these here as well, so you can adjust the height of these. Look at these. Legs. Man. Deadly. Little push pins. That's oh. it. You can just slide it down, thereabouts, or whatever you want to do. They're not, they're not actuators or anything. They're just a manual system, so you pull them out. And obviously when it's on the bed, you can just pull that pin out and release it. I don't want to do too much because it's going to fall. <laughs> but there we go. So that's the Hummer. Let's have a look at the other model. The uh, 6x6. <whistles> Maybe this one would fit. Let's get your wheat bix. Look at this. That looks pretty damn cool as well. Shazam. Oh, it should also show a tank as well. So this is the King Kong, I believe, 112th or 114th model. If you want to get a 6x6. Mate, cooking with gas. And this is HG's what? Well. You're right there, Steve. You want a hand? Oh, I'm pretty. Uh, look at that. See, that's better. I like that, uh, the color combo. Look how cool that looks. So that's the other color that it comes in as well. Uh, it's HG models. But look at that. Mate, that's some serious uh, looking. Uh, that's some serious bit of coin you got here as well. Mate, <laughs> you talked about my collection. Oh, yeah, true. Look at this, guys. So, how cool does that look? And then, if you want to get a tank, I'll show you a tank. So, tanks are. You got tanks? Oh, I do. Oh, I do look great. So, tanks are a little bit smaller scale. Mm. They're the 1 16th, but they still look pretty good. And, and bear in mind, this is a T34, Russian T34, so it's generally a smaller tank than like a. Of course. Um, Tiger, or a King Tiger, yeah. or yeah, and you know, you know yeah. all about Common it. knowledge. So there we go. There. So that's a 116 scale tank. It's common knowledge, Steve. Come on. Yeah, you should know that, Lucre. So at Abrams, Abrams, which they have on the box there, have that picture on the box. That's an Abrams. So that's 116 scale as well. So that gives you a bit of an indication, uh, you know. What you get. Studio lights, Stephen. I know, I know. But there we go. So you can fit a lot. Definitely fit a lot of cars. Whatever you want to put on there because. Can you put an X Max on there? Oh, you probably could. You know what you were saying? Don't look at a boat. A boat, look cool. a boat, yes. Roll it up in a boat, yeah. like a Sonic Wake or a Miss mm. Geico. Or the ones from Scott, the best Jeppo. Yes. The Thrasher. We've got to get them out. Yes. Now we're allowed. But have a look at that deck. Pardon? Deck, deck. Not yet. Not this here. <laughs> So look at that, Luke. Eh? So even even the kit, like under here, is all other components. But you have this nice plate here that covers it all. Oh. It's just really cool. Yeah, we've got a tie down point here as well, and they're not plastic eyelets. They're actually metal, or aluminium, or aluminium. Everything is really cool. I like it. The only thing that comes off is this. You have to just watch out for this little crate. It just kind of pressure fits in there, kind of flexes down. This one down here is actually locked and loaded with four hardware screws. Apart from that, it's really cool underneath. That's how she looks. Wow. Beautiful work of art. Could even get some nice, I don't know, maybe camo cream tape and just tape up there. It's wise mm. so you don't see them. But there we go. How cool is it? Not bad, Steve. Really good. I, I really like it. But yeah, anything that went wrong is The LED lights. lights. Um, nothing else, and I said it before many times, sound like a broken record, but the quality, fit and finish, I can't, I can't fault it. I have not stripped or you know any one of the um, screws at all not one of them they're all you know some of them are stripped and stuff mm. not, not one here perfect not one at all so I'm very happy with it congratulations you you're probably going to take it anyway <laughs> I'll turn around he takes it but any questions guys leave them down below I'm interested if you have this or you have any of these HD models I want to know about your opinions on them what if you change them because I haven't done anything to these. Um, I'm still using the funny that they still use this uh, yes, aircraft style transmitter, but it's because it's got like an eight channel or sixteen channel trans uh, receiver with them. Mm. So happy days. Happy days. You can convert them to a, a normal pistol car grip, but I've not changed any, anything. I think this one here has a Y operated server steering mechanism. Yes. So I haven't changed anything. Um, partly because I'm been really busy. 
But um, yeah, let me know what you think. If you haven't, please subscribe, guys. Um, give Luke Ray some love behind the camera. Tell him love him in the comments. <laughs> um, apart from that, stay tuned for the next video. I would have loved to in this video hooked it up and dri driven it, but I don't have that, so I wanted to show you anyway. So next video, I might do a separate one just showing the crane quickly, because that's pretty, I think it comes pretty simple to the crane. It's got to mm -hmm. plug and play. And then once we get the tow hitch, I won't do a video on that. I'll rip this bed off. Well, that'll be in the crane video, ripping that bed off, and I'll just put that little hitch on. Apart from that, that's it. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Rock and roll, Romeo. So, have a good, enjoy the video, guys. See you in the next one.